How's it going fellas and welcome to the channel where I kick back, relax and talk NBA 2K22 or 23 for a change because here we go again fellas. It's December and we already need a wish list. It's quite crazy how fast this game has gone downhill, thriving and people loving it in September. But it's turned into a ghost town in December. Some of the things could be added this year for season 3 or even season 4 if they actually cared about the plot players and the community instead of their pockets fellas but we all know what 2k will do they've been doing this shit for years just shitting all over us treating us like dollar signs time and time and time again so over the next few minutes i'm going to be talking about the five things that i have to see in nba 2k 23 for me to even buy it that's the honest truth fellas so if you like that sort of stuff of me ranting and raving about nba 2k don't forget to leave a like hit the subscribe button and comment down below all your your thoughts and opinions what would you like to see in a wish list for nba 2k 23 leave it all in the comments below but anyway guys i've talked and raved long enough let's get into it so the first thing i want to talk about is new dribble moves and better ways to get open left right cheese is not a new thing it's been in 2k for years fellas 2k 15 2k 16 my team was plagued with it same with park but players just seem to forget there was one reason and one reason only that left right cheese got taken out of the game is because there was actually explosive dribble moves that could actually get you open so you didn't have to left right cheese there was better ways to get open and way more fun to have doing these moves and they were so much more effective than just doing left right left right cheese don't get me wrong fellas the dribble system in 19 and 20 wasn't perfect but it made it fun to be a point guard and playing off players reactions to a move then hitting them with another move to get even more open to beat that guard you know what i mean to beat the player on you you'd actually have have to react to what the defense was doing and then hit him with something else completely different that's what made the game fun you had to react to what the defender actually did instead of just spamming left right left right cheese and hope you get open so the next thing i want to talk about is no more city we've tried the city fellas and it's a swing and a miss in my opinion it was just a failure we just want to play basketball not go shopping at the mall or walk the fashion runways what's the point it's a basketball game at the end of the day fellas you don't have to go to the shop to buy Buy clothes you should just be able to buy them out of the menu just hit the start button go to the shop and then buy the shirt straight away none of this running 10 15 minutes to go buy a black t-shirt you know what i mean fellas it amazes me where their priorities are we have a giant city but we can't get features to work that we've needed to work for years we have to wait weeks months and as i said sometimes years to get the simplest things fixed like matchmaking and progression to actually work for everyone instead of making a detailed city we just need working matchmaking all the time for everybody progression to actually work because that's the thing that matters if they got rid of the city so many detailed matchmaking levels could be added more and more throughout the year plus we wouldn't have to join everybody that's in the city just the six players that are playing on the game increasing performance instead of having to connect to everybody and making it lag or have latency as agent would say to be honest fellas the city isn't going anywhere any time soon so this is it for at least the next few years they aren't gonna make a new city every year it's just not possible a few changes here and there but for the most part what you see is what you get when it comes to the city for the next few years at least so the next thing I want to talk about is a new badge system it's gotten out of hand with the amount of overpowered badges and just how strong a lot of the badges actually are and they just kind of take basketball IQ out of the game and just adds cheese to bail out players with random Randomness. that's the thing that pisses me off the most the fact that players are just getting bowed out for a bad pass a bad shot or a bad drive to the basket just to get bowed out by a magic badge it's a joke badges should be something that you get a little boost from not something that you rely on to win a game there is no need for so many badges so many badges need to be nerfed in 2k22 and hopefully even removed in 2k23 because it just creates so many balance issues and then you throw in hoff badges which just creates so much cheese in my opinion so many badges as i said need to be removed <laughs> fellas they really do out of the game this system always breaks every year one way or another but they just continue to give players all these badges and if they don't remove them i know players will hate this but maybe just give us a few less badges or a few less badge points so the next thing i want to talk about is better and more events on all consoles it's not our fault that they've made 
2 games, but one of the best things about NBA 2K was the events. Even though boosters pretty much ruined all the events and a few other issues like connections, and being kicked from games on events that actually compete for the highest streak, that's just not fair at all, fellas. It's a shame because this feature would be great if working correctly. It'll probably be the best feature that 2K has, period. And it'd be great for the community, but 2K just don't do events that well. They really don't, fellas. I'm talking about the old events. I remember the first event with Snoop Dogg, the park after dark, where Snoop Dogg was meant to be playing live, like what Fortnite did with Marshmallow a few years back. 2K was the first to think of it, but did they execute it? Fuck no. They bailed miserably. I was waiting for over an hour to get into the first event, the park after dark with Snoop Dogg. I finally got in, and I was the only guy in there. I know it was five years ago, but have they actually gotten any better? To be honest, fellas, they haven't. We've seen some decent events every now and then, but we need at least 12 major events, maybe 11 because the first month will be enough. Everyone will be hyped for the game to play and the honeymoon period will take over. But after that honeymoon period, we need an event every month, a major event, like a, a Ruffles or a Basketball Gods or something like that. You know what I mean? One of those big events. And then throughout the year, sprinkle the minor events like the Puma and the Affiliation Double XP events in between. So they only need 12 events a year. And then half of those will be repeated anyway. So they're looking at six to eight events. And then you throw in those double XP events in between and it's fine. All we need is a event at the start of every month, the weekend of every month, the first weekend of every month, throw on a major event and sprinkle the little ones in between. So the last thing I want to talk about is one game with crossplay. There's two things that could save 2K and it's switching builds whenever we want. And the other thing is one game with crossplay fellas. If they do make two games again, we need at least crossplay between PlayStation and Xbox. We don't want PC because we've seen what hackers have done to Cotton Warzone and we don't want that in 2K with Slender Man and 10 foot fucking, oh, you know, giant bloody lookies dunking all over you. You know what I mean, fellas? This would not benefit the park at all, having hackers, but crossplay would. It would benefit the park and it would benefit so many other game modes from the Rec, the Pro-Am and even my team. It's a win-win for everybody, but I don't see 2K doing it because it doesn't give them any revenue back. And that's a shame because we've seen so many games succeed with crossplay. Fortnite, COD, Rocket League, I think Rainbow Six maybe, I don't fully know, but you know what I mean, fellas. So many games are pushing the crossplay, but 2K just don't care. I don't know if it's a money issue or what the problem is to get the green light, to get this approved, but it needs to happen. Crossplay is a must in 2021 and separating the player base is just killing this game. With so many game modes and so many ways to play from PS4 to PS5 to Xbox, Xbox 360X or whatever they're called. You know what I mean, fellas? And then you throw in the modes of Pro-Am, Park, My Team, Wreck, My Career, Play Now Online. It's separating the community so much and it's leaving the player pool for each mode just so small and it just makes it harder and harder as the year goes on to get consistent games against different players. I've been playing the same people in 3v3 matchmaking for pretty much the last three nights now and it's starting to piss me off. So the last thing I want to talk about is just a few final thoughts and we make these lists earlier and earlier each year in the hope 2k will listen. Will they? Probably not. I know 2k will never see these videos but I see the potential in this game. I really do and a few changes to certain things. 2k can make a fun game for us and still pay billions and billions of dollars. Trust me fellas. The main thing is you've got to spend money to make money. Crossplay is the perfect example. Buying likenesses to content so you'd have celebrities or movie characters, TV characters in the game. That's the next step for 2K. I'll talk about it in the next video, but the, at the end of the day, 2K needs to care about the community more than the community cares about 2K, but it just ain't happening. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. If you do like these rant, raves, whatever you want to call them, don't forget to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Do you agree with my wish list? What would you add? What would you take away? Leave it all in the comments below. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch us later.